hello everyone welcome you all in this particular video in this video that we are going to discuss which types of project you can put it down in your resume so that your resume gets shortlisted doesn't matter if you are a fresher or experienced person your project showcase your skills and your experience nowadays what i can see many people they have put it down uh, some basics project some kaggle project or some uh, like a uh, dummy types of projects in their resume like house price prediction Titanic data sheet, Titanic projects. So, do you think if we are going to put it down these types of projects in your resume, your resume gets shortlisted or you will get an interview call? Definitely no, because whenever we are going to search these types of projects on GitHub, you will get lots of GitHub profile. People have completed uh, like Jupyter notebook kinds of things. So, because of this, I have come up with this video. If you are going to apply for uh, any data science role make sure you can watch this video till the end so that you will get a clear understanding why you can put it down these types of projects in your resume so let's start the video in this video we are going to talk about five projects three machine learning projects two computer vision projects and one bonus project related to a NLP. So first project that we have American Express default prediction. This is the Kaggle competition projects where you can predict if a customer will default in the future or not based on the data set. So let's try to understand this problem statement first. So as you can see this is a Kaggle competition project. Whatever the project that I am going to tell you in under the machine learning, all projects related to a Kaggle competition. Why I selected a Kaggle competition projects? Because in a Kaggle competition, as you can see, this is the American Express Kaggle competition, like organized by the Ka American Express. So American Express, this is the big company. They want to check, okay, like which types of customer in future, they will get default. Okay, so definitely like you will get a different types of data set first because it's an industry level projects, industry related data set that you will get here. Second, whenever you are going to complete this project, make sure you can complete end to end where you can implement first model building, hyperparameter tuning. Second, you can create a web application. Third, you can add a retraining approach. Apart from this, you can add Dockerization, logging, database, CI/CD pipeline till just whenever you are completing the project, now just try to complete till CI/CD pipeline into in projects. Okay, so now let's try to understand the problem statement. So the main objective of this competition is to predict the probability that a customer does not pay back their credit card balance amount in the future based on their monthly customer profile. The target binary variable is calculated by observing 18 month performance window after the latest credit card statement. And if the customer does not pay due amount in 120 days after their latest statement date, it is considered as a default event. So in this problem statement, you can predict, okay, which customer in future they will get default. Okay. Make sure you can complete in to in project. So this is your first project. Now let's jump into the our second project. So the second project that we have Google Analytic customer review new prediction. Predict how much GA store like our Google store customer will spend. And then here you want to predict the revenue of the customer. Again, this is the Kaggle project. So let me show you the problem statement. So as you can see here, here you will get the problem statement. Whole problem statement, you can read it here. But at the end, as you can see, predict how much GA store customer will spend and what are the revenue they will get. So you can just predict the revenue of the customer. Okay. So again, this is our second project. You can complete this types of project and you can put it down 
make sure this is not a easy project guys whenever you can check it out the data set you will get 10 millions plus of data set under this project google analytics because i have completed this project you can check it out my Kaggle profile as well i will show you some of the messages as you can see here some of the messages like every time whenever i have updated my linkedin profile i got some of the email some of the messages on linkedin from different different companies they are hiring a Kaggle master or like a Kaggle Grand Master. Okay, so make sure you can participate in the Kaggle competition and you can complete these types of projects. Now let's jump to the third problem statement. So the third problem statement that we have is store sales time series forecasting. Here you can use a machine learning and predict the sales of after three months, after six months or after one year for particular store. Okay, now again, this is the Kaggle competition project. So let's try to understand the problem statement. So as you can see, in this competition, you will predict sales for the thousands of product families sold at favorite store located in whatever the location, Equator. The training data include data, dates, stores, and product information, whether that items was being promoted as well as the sales number additional files include the supplementary information that may be useful in your building of the model so at the end you can predict the sales for next six months next three months or next one year for particular store okay so this is the time series problem statement now let's try to jump interesting problem statement under the computer vision part so the next project that we have abnormal behavior detection so this project is based on the computer vision and pattern recognition method the main aim to detect the abnormal behavior object in the crowd such as bikers or let me let me tell you one of the another examples let's say we are in the bank okay we are in the bank so how we can check it out okay which person is thief or not so based on the behavior of the person we can check it out okay this person is thief or this person is not thief like this one right so in a crowd we want to find out based on the behavior of the person okay so again this is a very interesting problem that we have under the computer vision again i have completed this project 70 percent part i have used the ssd model and now I'm nowadays I'm working on the yellow part as well. Okay, so again, this is a very interesting problem that we have under the computer vision. And this is the real time problem that we have. If you are going to put it down these types of projects in your resume, then definitely interviewer they will impress because this is a real time problem that we are going to solve. Okay, so you can try these types of projects again. Now let's try to jump into the, our next problem statement, Pothol direction. So detecting pothols on road using the live video feed processing through a computer vision. So pothol, let me tell you one of the examples. Let's say we are in the, like anywhere in a Bangalore. Okay, so in a Bangalore, some of the region that we have like Whitefield, I mean right now I'm in the Whitefield. So let me tell you the example of Whitefield. So in Whitefield road, somewhere you will get a pothol. But what if, like if we have a someday like a rainy day, so in a rainy day, how we can check it out? Okay, the next step, whatever the step that we have, where we have a, like some of the water, those are the potholes are available or not. How we can predict? Okay, sometimes we are not getting idea. Okay, in the next step, we have some of the potholes and because of this one, like there are lots of accidents happens. Okay, so if we are going to build this types of pole, this types of project using the live streaming, what do you think? This definitely it will solve a real time problem. Okay, so again, this is the real time problem statement that we have. You can try this types of project. Yeah, this problem was not easy. Definitely, it will take lots of time and lots of knowledge as well as like under the computer vision. So you can learn those computer vision skills and then you can try these types of projects. Now, let's try to jump into the, our last and bonus types of project under the NLP. So the next problem statement under the NLP that we have Quora Incidence Question Classification. So on Quora, whenever we are posting some of the questions, how Quora owner they can classify, okay, 
दिस क्वेश्चन आर टॉक्सिक और नॉन टॉक्सिक like definitely we are a human okay so let's say if any person they are going to put it down some of the sexual content on some of the unnecessary content so definitely as a owner they want to find out query owner they want to find out okay which contents are like a toxic content and which contents are useful content okay so again this is the kaggle competition problem statement so let's try to understand the problem statement first so as you can see In this competition, you will be predicting whether a question asked on Quora is sincere or not, toxic or not. As instance, question is defined as question intended to make a statement rather than look for a helpful answer. Some characters that can signify that a question is insincere. So, what you can do? Again, you can go through this problem statement. Again, in this problem statement, you will get. millions of data okay here your machine learning as well as nlp concepts is required okay so you can just try this types of project and this types of project you can put it down in your resume guys because these are the kaggle competition project okay and whenever you are going to complete this type of this types of project needs lots of understanding about the machine learning computer vision and nlp ओके सो यू कैन पुट इट डाउन दिस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स इन योर रिज्यूमे डेफिनेटली इट विल बिल्ड योर रिज्यूमे एंड डेफिनेटली यू कैन इम्प्रेस योर इंटरव्यूअर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू पुट इट डाउन दिस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स इन योर रिज्यूमे ओके सो आई होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल प्लीज टू लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स